Today, we're introducing the donkey's tail succulent, also known as sedum burrito. This unique plant earns its name from its cascading stems resembling the tail of a donkey. In this video, we're going to go over basic care tips such as light soil and water, what a healthy plant looks like, how to repot and propagate a donkey's tail, plant toxicity, and more. Sedum burrito is often confused for sedum morganianum. They look similar, however, sedum morganianum has thinner, pointier leaves, while sedum burrito has rounder, plump leaves. Generally, sedum burrito is more user-friendly and less fragile. Donkey's tail wants lots of bright light and can even handle full sun if introduced slowly to more and more light. You'll notice it isn't getting enough light if it is etiolating, where the leaves will look spaced far apart rather than clumped tightly together. If the leaves are getting burned, then give them less light. Donkey's tail succulents prefer well-draining soil. Opt for a cactus succulent mix combined with perlite or pumice to ensure proper drainage and aeration. This helps prevent rot and promotes healthy growth. When you decide to repot your donkey's tail, first make sure to have a pot with drainage and well-draining soil. Fill your pot partially with soil, break up your plant's roots, and tuck it firmly into the pot. Be gentle with your plant, as the leaves of the donkey's tail tend to pop off with pressure. Fill the rest with soil and top dressings for a nice finishing touch. To determine when your donkey's tail needs water, check to make sure that the soil is completely dry. If the leaves start to look shriveled or wrinkled, it's another clear sign that your succulent needs water. If the leaves become mushy and translucent, and if the stems suddenly drop all of their leaves, it's because the plant is being overwatered. When watering, ensure that you evenly soak the soil with several rounds of water and that the water is draining out of the bottom of the pot. A good rule of thumb with all succulents is to underwater rather than overwater. Healthy donkey's tails will have compact ropes of plump green leaves with a natural waxy coating. It is normal for the small leaves of the donkey's tail to fall off, and you can even take these and place them on top of soil to propagate. When the leaves of a donkey's tail shrivel and shrink, it's usually because the plant needs water. If the leaves become mushy and translucent, it's because the plant is being overwatered. Fun fact, donkey's tail stems can grow up to two feet long with age. Donkey's tail succulents are usually targeted by mealybugs that like to hide in between the leaves. These can be treated with 70% isopropyl alcohol or neem oil gently applied to the stems and leaves. The donkey's tail succulent is generally safe for pets and humans. Donkey's tail does poorly in temperatures lower than 30 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Like most succulents, donkey's tail will thrive indoors so long as it receives plenty of light. To propagate a donkey's tail with a stem cutting, cut off the end of a stem, remove the bottom leaves, and let callus for a few weeks. Then plant stems directly down into soil. Donkey's tail can also propagate effortlessly from its leaves as they detach easily and will sprout regardless of their orientation in the soil. The donkey's tail displays clusters of small, magenta or deep red flowers at the tip of each stalk in the summer. With these effortless care tips, you can cultivate a healthy and beautiful donkey's tail succulent in your own home. Remember to take things one step at a time and learn as you go. Observing your plant is a wonderful way to grow as a gardener and enjoy your lazy garden. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe for more plant care tips.